All right, welcome back to Model Rocks 321. In this video, I am going to show how to mask off and get this red part colored or painted on the Arcus. This is uh, someone in the comments uh, mentioned it would be a good idea to show this. I think it was Warren. Shout out to Warren. He's always in the comments. He does a uh, rocketry and some STEM stuff. So I figured that's what I'll do. Um, for this mini Arcus, it came with the mask off pattern. So I already cut that out and everything I'm going to mask off. Once you get your this piece taped onto the rocket, you will trace around the outside of this, then remove it. Then you mask off the opposite color. Like I'm going to mask off what's going to be white and then I'm going to spray it red. So everything red, everything white you see will be covered with tape. And the masking tape I have here is this nice Tamiya stuff. This stuff is very good. People mention frog tape often. I never use it. I think I've seen it in Lowe's or Home Depot or somewhere, but I've been using this Tamiya stuff. This is great. Give you a sharp line. Really good masking tape. So the first part I'm going to do is I have to get this piece here. I'm going to remove the cone because you'll paint the cone separate. The cone will be red as you can see there. So this is going to get taped to the rocket once I get it all lined up. You have to do the tape on this side and um, just get this applied to the rocket. So I'm going to work on that right now. Okay, so now that I have everything masked off, or at least have the pattern on, it's not masked off. This is just the paint mask pattern. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm just going to go around really lightly with the pencil and um, get this line drawn all around what you see. Then the white that you see will get masked off with the masking tape. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. All right, so I am now removing the paint mask pattern. I have my lines all drawn. And I know I can get really straight lines with the uh, masking tape, so I could even mask. I really could have done this even without the, um, without the pattern, to be honest with you. But since they gave a pattern, you know, I'll use it. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but my lines are there. Like the, the pattern's there like that one got a little wonky, but I can fix all that up. So yeah, the pattern's there. So now I'm going to mask off everything here. It's going to be tape on this. So this top portion will be left red, just like that. The cone you'll paint separately because it's, you'll, I'll put the cone on and spray it all together. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start the masking. So here we go, back with the Arcus. It's all masked off. Time to peel off this tape. Um, so that's about it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. The Arcus should wind up looking something. I got tape stuck to this. Should wind up looking something like that right there. So we're gonna go ahead and start peeling this tape off. I had I painted it a couple days ago, and I felt it. And it was the paints these days seem to take a little while to dry. I just recall stuff drying way faster so i don't know i think they changed the formulas over time what was i using i was using this krylon actually krylon used to really did dry fast this was a uh, it's called krylon they got this paint and primer together which i'm still getting used to that i'm used to just either primer or just paint but i typically buy just primer i don't use this primer paint stuff together i i buy i buy them separate cans um and I do it like that, so that's just me. I don't I don't like my primer and and paint together really. I'll still buy primer, then I'll spray paint on top of it, even if it is primer and paint. That's what I'm trying to say. So 
But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this masking tape. I let this dry, like I said, for a couple of days because it still had a sticky feel to it. But yeah. So here's the Arcus. It's all finished up. Just need to add the decals. As you can see, it has the name there. And on the other side, it says, it, what is it? Atlantic Research, I think it is. Yeah, Atlantic Research goes on the other side of the rocket. So I'll get that put on. Um, came out pretty nice. I still have to do the streamer and shot cord stuff. I usually save that for last anyway. So I am right on time. I will go ahead and get that done. Not my greatest mass job. I had a little, got a little weird right here. When you fix stuff like that, I can just go, you just go and you scrape it with the uh, edge of X-Acto very, very carefully. But this is going to be a flyer, you know, um, it's fine. It's fine. Boat tail came out nice, all the other parts, everything's good. Flies on many engines. I'll be getting this up um, real soon. You guys will see that video coming up. So we're going to get some decals put on this. Let's do it. So as I wrap up this Arcus kit, I added the water slide decals one goes that way then you turn it this way and the Atlantic Research Corporation goes that way pretty nice set of water slides all the maskings done the red and white roll pattern I mean just red and white design I'm so used to saying roll pattern added the shock cord tied it to the nose cone all normal business it's mounted up top up here um, I pulled out the streamer the streamer is actually mylar i like this nice and wide probably like a two inch what is it two inch? yeah it's a two inch mylar um about how long is that about about two feet long nice size i've noticed certain things with sds over the years um actually this mylar is actually kind of transparent i can see through this what just you can actually it's not a solid piece of like foil you can actually see through this mylar which is um a little different anyway I noticed little things with SDs over the years. Like before, I remember like nice straight cuts. But you can see this is kind of look like it just got torn on that end, and I believe it's the same on this end. Yeah, like it just got torn. So um, things have changed over the years with SDs. I've noticed a lot of nice kits have come out, but just little changes like that. No, there's not a big deal. But it's just stuff I noticed with certain kits. Other ones don't have. I've seen where some are really done really good quality not like that even though this don't matter at all but it's just little things I've noticed over the years like small little changes um, but anyway I'm going to go ahead and attach this mylar streamer you know you look I'll be looking for straight edge this is weird it don't bother me but it's just like wow it's just something I noticed like huh, that's different but yeah the way you add this in the instructions you do this clear piece of tape fold over and then you'll tape it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here, right now. And use this kind of tape. And about two inches. Let me see if I can get that about right. I have a ruler on this work mat. Uh, that might be about good. Let me see. But yeah, the Arcus is on um, this kit came out. I think I pulled the tape too long. Yeah, this kit came out pretty. The kit came out pretty good. So. It should be a nice flyer. Yeah, there we go. So I'll go here, one piece of tape here. Actually, it's a little longer than the Mylar, a little longer than the streamer, but it should be fine. So one piece goes there, then you fold over and you put another piece like that. And then another piece will go there. So. And I do like the uh, shiny foil colored um, Mylar and Mylar parachutes and stuff. As you know by now, every video I drop something. <laughs> it's just been happening so long. It's just normal business now. So let me tear a piece of tape. I don't want to be a little, a little shorter this time. A little shorter. I don't want to overlap. So go there. And then we'll put another piece of tape 
right here so yeah so there there we go so this should stay in place yeah so that's in place pretty nice pretty nice very reflective um goes good with this rocket you should see this way up there i knew on a a10 3t they're saying 550 feet then that new engine i believe is an a36 t i may have to try to find some of those let me stop by the hobby shop hobby bench maybe see if i can find some of those engines but um yeah the arcus is all done i guess i'll get this uh, there's my water there that i did the water slide decal in and they have you roll this guy let me see i believe this one they just show roll yeah they just show in the instructions they show you doing this they just have you um second piece of tape clear and they show you rolling up the streamer but for right now i'm gonna just fold it and then i'll fold and roll because i'm just trying to get it packed so i can get the cone on so you can see the complete rocket yeah i'll do like that and then just go ahead and roll from here yeah the arcus is a nice kit i actually have the aerotech version which is a nice mid-power rocket. I think you can even, yeah, it flies on 29 millimeters, so you can get some big engines in there in the Aerotech version. All right. But yeah, this is a nice size rocket. It flies on the mini engines, so it should be, should perform well. I'm expecting some, like I said, 500 feet. That's a nice, nice flight. Not too high, but good enough for that part that I'm flying in right now. So I just want to get this streamer down in here. All right, so there we go. Uh, come on, come on, come on. All right, so here we go. All right, so there you have the complete Arcus. Nice rocket. Got the boat tail. Nice rocket. Very nice rocket. And Research Corporation. Now I need to build my um my iris. I need to build the iris. Now I have another um kind of smaller scale uh sounding rocket from Atlantic so yeah that is it guys that is the Arcus ready to fly there's the card and there's the rocket flies on many engines you gotta do like a friction fit because there's no engine hook or anything so friction fit those in there and should get up there pretty good but yeah hope you enjoyed this my rocks three two one subscribe to the channel and we will catch you guys on another video thank you